Hey guys, and welcome to your ninth JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss arrays. Previously, we discussed uh, variables and how you could do something like variable computer equals HP in a string. But what if you wanted multiple computers? So I guess you could do variable computer 1 equals HP, variable computer 2 equals Dell, and you could say variable computer 3 equals Asus. But if you want to sort through that data or show it all together and manipulate it, it would be hard to do in this context, which is where arrays come in. So an array can be made as follows. You could do variable computers equals brackets, and then here we could do Dell, HP, and Asus. And now we can take a look it starts at zero, so these values are represented by numbers and they start at zero and go up from there. So Dell would be zero, HP would be one, and ASUS would be three, two, pardon. So Dell would be zero, HP one, ASUS two. And let's just do try it out here. If we did document.write computers brackets zero, we should get Dell. And we get Dell. And if we did document dot write computers, what was the break plus computers two, it should get ASUS. And we do. And what happens if we just do computers without anything else? Well, then it gives us all the data. So that's pretty cool, and that's a brief introduction to using um, arrays. And here's some methods that we could use with arrays. We could do computers.push, and then we could push onto this gateway, which I think was bought by Asus. And this is going to push gateway to the end of our array. And if, so if we now do document.writeComputers, and we should probably add a break here as well. You'll see that the new one added computers, although the break did not work because we did document.push and really I was supposed to add this break over here. BR plus computers. If you caught that error, and we have another mistake here, which is we left the quote with only one quote. So if you notice those mistakes, then you're coming along well. Okay, let's refresh this. And we see Dell, HP, Asus, and now we have Gateway. Now we have something else. We have something called Pop. And Pop allows us to pull the last element off the given array and return it. So now we have Gateway, but we should be able to pop gateway off here now. So if we do computers.pop and now we document.write br break plus computers, we should be missing now gateway. And we are because it took, it returned that last value, it popped it off and took it off the array. There's also something called the unshift method. Now the unshift method is similar to the push method except instead of adding it to the adding it to the end, it's going to add it to the beginning. So let's do document.unshift and we're going to add not document, pardon, we're going to do computers.unshift and we're going to do the Chromebook. And we're going to add that and now we're going to do document.write br break plus computers. And this is, should show Chromebook, Dell, HP, Asus. And it does, but there was a mistake, and that was the angled bracket was missing on that break. So Chromebook, Dell, HP, Asus. Now there's something called the unshift, and the unshift similar and the, um, pardon, the shift. And the shift is similar to the pop, but it is going to work at the beginning of the array. So this is going to pull the first element off the beginning of the array and return it and also change the array. So let's go to computers.shift. And now it's document.write 
break plus computers. And now we should, and the angled bracket, this time I caught it before. And this time, when we do it, we should be now missing this Chromebook that we added before. It should be pulling it off. So let's take a look. And now we have Dell, HP, Asus, and we're back to how we originally started. So that's a brief introduction to arrays. Um, I suggest you play around with it. And looking forward to seeing you in the next video.